Hi everybody, it's Honest John, and Bill O'Reilly is worried. He noticed that the percentage of atheists and people who are unaffiliated with any particular religion is rising, while the number of Christians is declining. And Bill is worried that this is going to bring America down. According to Bill, atheists are hedonists who care only about themselves and care nothing about the greater good. Like most right-wing Christians, he has a completely distorted view of what atheism is. Atheism says nothing about personal ethics or morality. It is quite simply a lack of belief in God. Atheists can be selfish and hedonistic, but they also can be altruistic, caring, and generous. Just like everybody can be. Last weekend, it was atheists who put together the Madness, Mayhem, and Charity event, which raised thousands of dollars for AIDS research. O'Reilly equates the fall of the Roman Empire with the rise of atheism. But you know what preceded the fall of, the, uh, of that empire? The rise of Christianity. And if you think that America is in decline, well, let's take a look at who's in charge. Christians remain the majority in this country and have been running it since its inception and continue to run it today. It is Christians who have allowed our infrastructure to deteriorate. It is Christians who have allowed our education system to falter. It is Christians who have, who have presided over the shrinking of the middle class, the rise in poverty and the growth of income inequality. It is Christians who have done nothing about climate change, no doubt believing that their God will jump in and save the day. It is Christians who are cutting aid to the poor while giving billions of tax dollars to the rich. It is Christians who refuse to raise the minimum wage. It was a Christian who believed that God wanted him to be president, George W. Bush, who ignored the clear warnings about the impending 9-11 attacks and then put us into wars in Afghanistan and Iraq that created ISIS and the chaos in the Middle East. The increase in the number of atheists in the U.S. is actually a hopeful sign. It means that critical thinking is on the rise and that people are beginning to realize the shortcomings of faith. So let me tell you something. If America does fail, it will be Christians who bring it down, not atheists. Thanks for listening.